Hey everybody, what's up? Danny Weisfeld here. And in this clip, I want to share some conclusions I got about the HX effects. I've been using it for a few months now, and I just want to share what I found about it. Let's start with the main thing. Can it replace a whole pedal board? And let's start, obviously it has a lot of advantages and a few disadvantages, but let's start with the most important, which is tone. That's what we're all trying to get. And can it get as good as analog pedals? Now, the bottom line is, it sounds amazing. But what I found that isn't a correct thing to do, not always, is to compare them one by one, to put that against the pedal and see if it sounds the same or not. Because it has to sound right for the situation you're using it in. And what I found, bottom line, and I'll elaborate in a second, if I have a big rock gig, if I get a surprise call from the Chili Peppers, I'm taking out my analog big pedal board, and if I get like a pop gig, I don't know, like Taylor Swift, Madonna, or something, I'll bring out the HX effects because it sounds better for that. Um, my main concern are the drive sounds, the drive gain, fuzz. They sound amazing, but they do sound very tailored. It's like you put Photoshop on your analog pedals. The analog pedals have more bite, they're fatter, they growl, but on the HX effects, they're tailored really nice. They're sliced, they're put in a box. And it's, if you're playing a production with a lot of tracks on computer playing to click, it just sounds perfect in there. So I've been playing it on a few rock gigs and a few pop gigs, and it just sounds great. You can check out my resume below on my website. I'm not into name dropping right now, but I played with some of the biggest acts in the world. So I, am speaking from some experience. So that's tone wise. Again, rock gig I'm taking my pedals, pop gig I'm taking the HX effects. No doubt about it. They, it'll sound better than the pedals for those gigs. Um, now if we're speaking about it, so like I said, I wouldn't try and comp put a vintage pedal that costs 300 bucks, a vintage tube drive pedal and put it in front of it because it'll sound different. I just have to look at the HFX as a new tool with new sounds and see if it works for my situation. Now about advantages and disadvantages, what I found about the analog pedal board that just beats it, it's that everything is spread out in front of me and I just tweak it all right as I go and I'm very quick about it. To get my tones right on the HX effects, I need a lot, a lot of tweaking time a lot. You have to research it at home and then you get to the gig and the volume on the tube amp is a bit different. So you have to retweak it. It's not as quick as the analog pedals. You have to go into all the presets and start fiddling and saving and then obviously backing it up. But once you do it and it's backed up, all the automations, your presets, it's like having a million different pedal boards with you on the road and it's it becomes so easy and convenient that it's amazing it's so light and cheap compared to the analog pedal board so it's really worth the efforts because once it's tweaked in it's unbelievable so I hope all that information was helpful and I'm very happy with it all in all it's a very great tool for what we need.